Indian police flog Muslims in public, condemned by Amnesty International. On October 4th, plainclothes police officers in Gujarat, India, publicly flogged nine Muslim men in front of a cheering crowd. The men were tied to a pole one by one to receive public floggings. They were accused of throwing rocks during a Hindu religious event. After the beating, they were made to apologize to the crowd of onlookers and were whisked away in a police van. According to Senior Superintendent of Police, Rajesh uh, Gandhia, during the nine-day Hindu festival, uh, festival of um, Navratri, Muslims objected to celebration taking place near a mosque. The Muslims allegedly pelted the Hindu devotees participating in Garba, a traditional dance. He said at least seven Hindus were wounded, two of which were severely injured. BJP General Secretary uh, Pradeep, oh, Pradeep Sindh Vag Vagela, I'm sorry about my pronunciation, congratulated the police, saying the action taken by the police was absolutely right. In the future also, if such things happen, then the police should act similarly. Amnesty International has called the incident a human rights violation, showing, quote, utter disrespect for the law. So here we have a video of the incident. Can we even show that on YouTube? Like, it's a violent beating of this person. I mean, it's way less severe than the stuff you show from Iran. Okay, I, I heard you could show it if you're providing context. So YouTube, this is like recovering news. Warning to everybody, graphic content. God damn it, stop. Oh, God, this is horrible. What the hell? Oh. God damn it, like these people are... Seem to be enjoying doing it. What are these people cheering this beating? What the hell? These people are cheering it. What is this? Hold on. I can't believe this. Like, look, you they look like they're enjoying this. Stop! Look at these people. They're like, this is entertainment. They're coming here and recording this. What? The, they're cheering. Susie, what the hell is this? Oh, my God. Like, oh, yeah, like, go away. You're blocking this entertainment. You're, like, you're blocking the camera. What the fuck? Look at this. What? Why are they cheering this? I am horrified. What is... I am... I am so horrified. What do you guys think about this? So this is like crazy for so many reasons. One, like, okay. Someone getting like rounded up, like tied up and getting publicly beaten and assaulted, unfortunately is not that unexpected in India nowadays. I've seen so many videos of this and similar incidents like it's absolutely insane right but that itself is shocking right but it's unfortunately there's a level of expectation and just knowledge that this kind of thing goes on unfortunately but what it added to a whole different level of shock in severity to this is the fact that this was actually conducted by police so this is now conducted by the state. This is a form of like vigilante and mob justice that is done by the state. And it's like a, a conflation of or merging of Hindutva, like Bajrangdal style gang vigilantism 
but merged with the actual state's supposed monopolization on the use of violence, right? So this is of huge concern. And then it's also incredibly severe because this is done in the context of the justice system, right? Or supposedly the beginnings of the initiation of the justice system. What I mean by that is like in a country, especially one that has British common law as its foundation for its legal system, we have the system of due process. We also have a system or belief in innocent until proven guilty. And this is a complete violation of all those principles, right? Because these men were accused of something. They did not go through a trial. They did not go through having protection, legal defense, prosecutors go through the evidence and have someone legally prescribe a sentencing to them. This is just... We rounded up people, they're accused of something, and we're going to start beating them in public, assaulting them, which is already medieval enough. Like, I've, corporal punishment is completely illegal, medieval, and in violation of various international treaties that India is a party to and a signatory to. But then we're also doing that in the public eye. We're doing this in public, which brings in the element of public humiliation, which is, again, is a medieval medieval tactic of social control. And then, so then there's also like the aspects of police brutality. There's the aspect of which this is cheered on and supported by the populace publicly. I mean, there's just so much about this. This is like completely messed up. Um, and this caught a huge amount of attention from a large number of international bodies because people are like, what the hell is happening here? Um, your reaction, Armin, is completely warranted and exact exactly what my reaction was because this is a whole different level of severity, right? Like we see gangs beating up Muslims because they accuse them of stuff in India like all the time. Fortunately, that's like expected at this point. But to see the police engaging in this kind of behavior is like a whole different level, like reprehensible. But what gets me is the cheering crowd. It's just like, it's, okay, so the reason why it breaks me to see stuff like this, it's not just about the incident, okay? Because I sometimes am hopeful that you know, beyond you, when we are horrible to each other um, is because of conditions, weird conditions that has made us that way, you know, like that deeply I'm hoping that humans are so much more capable of enjoying seeing each other humans happy and that are horrified by seeing other humans in pain, right? So the reason why a video like this gets me because it challenges that core hope that I frame a lot of my activism around, that if you, that it just like chips away a little bit of that. Like, because my hope, because I don't have much hope for people being smart, okay, or intelligent or educated. So I don't rely on that becoming a thing for most people being smart or intelligent for many years, okay? Um, so what I rest my entire activism on is not people's intelligence, but people's sense of sympathy and desire for kindness, right? And I think like deep within most of us, there's an urge to satisfy that desire of seeing other people happy and taking people out of misery. So a video like this really gets to me because when I see a crowd cheering somebody in pain, it, it's just like, I don't know. It's just, it's a night, this is nightmare. To me, to me the, the, the cheering crowd is nightmare. It's a nightmare. I don't know how else to explain. I completely agree. I think it's so crazy. Like, 
most people acknowledge that the per punishments as prescribed by Islam are medieval and utterly barbaric, right? But this instance, instance is actually worse than what's prescribed within Islam. In Islam, it happens in the context of someone actually being tried, having witnesses, found guilty, and sometimes an opportunity to repent. Like, this is done completely without trial, any form of procedure of law. This is just like as, as mob mentality, tribalistic, as you can get. It's so crazy, like, not to... I'm about to have a real American moment, forgive me. But in, in my cultural context, when I see this, I've never seen something that is so similar to the ways in which black people in the South after the Civil War were persecuted and humiliated publicly, terrorized to be able to be shown their place in the absence of a state apparatus to put them in the, their place in the form of slavery. Like the, the images of how black Americans were treated and brutalized are so visually similar to the stuff that's happening here. Like, so from within my cultural context, like it's absolutely shocking. Um, and yeah, again, to see the cheering, it, it just, it's so dark in the comparisons to that that we see in history are deeply, deeply concerning. Not to mention the fact that this happens in Dugrat, and I know I can't pronounce it right, okay? <laughs> but in the context of this state in particular, there was essentially a pogrom that happened in 2002, which killed like 2,000 people, most of whom are Muslims. And so where this is happening in terms of geolocation is also extremely important because of the history of what goes on in this area. Um, Varun gave us a, a few yeah, super chats. Yeah, he's uh, there's a couple of super chats, and then one is from the previous news. Um, okay. But I'm going to start the ones that start for this news, and then after the news is finished, we're going to highlight the ones from the previous. Okay, so Varun gave us a bunch of nope. $2 super chats. So I, okay, I'm yeah, going to read them. So this is from okay. Varun saying, Armin, this is how we roll in India. Muslim hate. Jugrat is number mm -hmm. one in Muslim hatred. Uh, Muslim hatredry. Uh, if they were Brahmin, they won't, wouldn't be beaten up like this. Your caste affords you a certain type of due process. So those are the attitudes of Varun. Um, yeah. and that's a lot of super chats. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the support. Um, and Arjun also gave a 400 rupee super chat. Thank you, Arjun saying, I don't ever want these atheist conversations to end more. The more people are disillusioned from all these man-made religions, the better. Well, thank you for your support, Arjun. And I'm glad that you come here and enjoy our conversations. Um, okay, so this was the one from the previous news. I think you unhighlighted them because they were correcting me. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Arjun, for the super chat. And yes, thank you so much for the kind message as well. All right. Oh, wait, what did I do? Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so stupid. All right. I'm, I unhighlighted it myself again. <laughs> um, the, I said something wrong in the previous news and people were correcting me. So we're done with this news. Okay. But let me just go and get that correction because apparently I didn't understand this historical context of the super chat where, with, that Varun sent. I read something as hashtag, even though it was something else. No, I can't find it. Huh? I missed something. I want to respond something. to something from D. D is yeah, saying, okay, we can't did. compare this to black and blacks in the United States. They were lynched and people actually bought their body parts as souvenirs. I'm not making a direct comparison. I'm just trying to explain like from my cultural context. And I'm willfully admitting that that's not what it is for everyone, but just maybe so people can get an idea of what this looks like to other people, right? That 
in other people's cultural context, like this is the framing that they have as a touchstone for when they see things like this, you know? And so it is definitely very different, although there are a lot of Muslim lynchings that do happen in India, but the whole construction of it and the system, the, the system of the terrorizing of the population is different. I, I do acknowledge that, but I wanted to just explain to people how this can come across to people from different cultures, different countries. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.